This Metro Traffic Report is being brought to you by the National Highway Tra- Traffic Safety and the Ad Council. SaferCar.gov slash the right seat to learn more about the correct usage of child safety seats. We have an accident with injury on the Indianapolis north side uh, at College Avenue at East 56th Street. Also, we have an accident in downtown. The right lane is blocked on I-65 uh, northbound at Washington Street. We have a crash at Allisonville Road at 82nd Street and on the west side, Harding Street, south west of Moore Street, another accident. Special thanks today to Prez Max and giving me my traffic music today. Uh, he's joined us live in studio. Jill Dittmeyer is with us with more. Thank you, Carl, and thank you, Prez. <laughs> and believe it or not, listeners, this uh, accordion player also has an MBA from Butler University. Yeah. <laughs> they don't teach you how to play accordion, as evidenced by my by my playing. Exactly. <laughs> uh, musician and uh, copywriter, and many of you who follow on social media may recognize Prez Maxson, one of the organizers and founders of the, the High Five uh, nonprofit group that was pretty viral for several years, uh, raised a lot of money for people. Well, Prez is using all of his creativity in yet another realm. He has released his first novel. Um, it is called Bender at the Bon Parisienne. Yeah. And um, why the accordion music? Everybody is wondering that right up front. <laughs> it's the It was the most um, Parisian uh, you know, instrument I, I know, and I used it uh, when I made the book trailer, which is a thing on YouTube. And, you know, when presented with the opportunity to play it for a traffic report, I just thought, <laughs> bucket list, you know, I mean, <laughs> not going to say no. You know? <laughs> well, well, obviously you have to play the piano, and you 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 are a, mm-hmm. you are a piano player and a harmonica player and a multifaceted musician as well. You spent a lot of time on the West Coast doing that and mm-hmm. brought your talent back here to the Midwest that way. Yeah, no, I, I've had a, an awesome time, you know, playing music around and everything, and uh, you know it'll always be, and it'll, it's it's part of everybody's life, and it's definitely uh, you know part of mine. I just always, uh, you know, you always have it. And the accordion, once again, it pops out in this fascinating, the animated trailer for your book, Bender at the Bon Parisienne. And people can see that trailer. Yeah, uh, at Amazon. So, I mean, the book is available from Amazon, and uh, there's a link to the trailer from my author page. And so you, you go to Amazon and look up either Bender at the Bon Parisian or Press Maxon, and, um, and it's all there. I animated the trailer in my basement. I didn't realize book trailers were a thing like movie trailers they for are a book. they are so I, I made one yeah. they're very important there and and yours really does give people a, a small <laughs> taste of what they're in store for when they read the story that is based <laughs> loosely on a night that you and your lovely wife it, had in paris no super super loosely but um to, to make a real long story short we were in a uh, an old hotel not run down just older and the bar was closed and i asked the the concierge if i could be the bartender for the evening and uh and he kind of laughed and waved us out the door and and molly doesn't speak any french so when we got outside she said what was that about and i told her and she said well what would you have done you know if uh <laughs> if if he'd said yes we're, we're going to dinner we're, we're going to go see this and that we're going to walk around and i said what do you mean what would we have done it would have been the greatest night of our lives <laughs> <laughs> and in a way it, it has become that in, in, in your alter ego well, the book, uh, writing about this yeah the book takes place in one night and it's about the most um, imaginative uh, series of events that, that I could conjure up as like a what if the concierge had said yes so it's kind of a treasure hunt in a way it is definitely a treasure hunt it's a shell game it's a little bit of a mystery um, but you find out that the, the there's no bartender, not because they're understaffed, but because he's gone missing. Ooh. And he's hidden something extremely valuable in the bar, and so all his uh, you know, kind of cohorts show up, and no one knows how much everybody knows and who's going to find it and then get out without the others knowing. It's... It's it's a ride. It's it, a ride, baby. It's a cue the accordion for the dun dun dun. Oh, yeah. dun. <laughs> no, I can do that. I can do it. There we go. Yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> Too bad that we don't have the visual aspect here because this accordion, this is a beautiful instrument. <laughs> and why of all instruments to add to your collection did you choose the accordion? Well, uh, no, Molly gave it to me for Christmas the first year I moved here, um, which would have been Christmas of. 
2008. And um, yeah, it was used, um, and it's it is beautiful. I, I agree. I wish I was better at playing. I mean, honestly, it's I uh, I I don't do it justice like a true accordion player would. I'm a piano player convert, so. Talking about the book and the process of making the book, you, you've um, earned a living doing a lot of different forms of writing, mm -hmm. um, from freelance uh, writing for TV shows mm -hmm. to writing for technical. And then you had to take all that and really give it a new slant uh, yeah. to make it presentable for the general public. Well, I, you know, writing a novel is, was hard. Uh, it's it's long, you know, and to and I was really into trying a creative project um, that would require that much time and attention, and to be able to put together characters and a story that hung together, you know, beyond just a couple pages, way beyond a couple pages, uh, was something I was always kind of interested in, and I, and I love reading, and, and the more I read in adult life uh, recreationally, the more I kept thinking, you know, could I do it? And um, so I, I started a few years ago, um, and, you know, it's not going to, you know, win me the Pulitzer or anything, but it, I, I'm proud of, you know, certainly how it, uh, proud of certainly how it ended up, and, and I definitely enjoyed the process. Well, and as you went to promote the book and you reached out, you, you found there's a whole new world out there of reviewers oh, sure. and online, especially once again in the whole social media world, where a well, lot of people tune in to find things to read and the downloadable book. It, it's a digital world. You know, and uh, I realized I didn't have to necessarily put it in print right away to reach a lot of people. Um, and so to, to be digital, I, uh, I, I was, I'm, I've been excited to, to get nice feedback from bloggers uh, who, who review and interview um, independent authors. Uh, it's not unlike the music scene that I was used to. There's a community of writers, there's a community of reviewers, um, and, and I've, I've had a good time you know, getting to know that community. And that's something we talk about a lot here is that community, that there are different levels of it out there, and oh, sure. people need to take the time to find those people and kind of it's a lot of give and take oh for sure yeah um i mean but that's that's kind of the fun of the whole process i think and you know not to continually compare it to a music scene but i definitely know that but um you know you meet a lot of folks and and i'm always touched especially in indianapolis um having experienced some other towns the the independent art scene is is as vibrant if not more vibrant and certainly more supportive than, than a lot of other places. So um, I, I'm my adopted hometown now, Indy. I'm proud to say I'm here. And once again, it, it is local. It is art. Mm -hmm. uh, writing is, and definitely accordion music. <laughs> is well, art. yeah, no, it's creative art or, or something. You know, um, it's, I, I, I don't know how the, the people of Indianapolis are getting, I don't know how many of you go to live accordion concerts you know how often um you should go to more but it's a loud thing i mean we're sitting in a, a little room and and i could uh <laughs> carl just rolled his eyes and and that's the same exact look i get from my wife when like i took it out of the case this morning at, at 8 a.m to kind of just make sure i could that everything could go real. and and oh man it did not go over well i mean well you probably won't be part of our small studio session anytime <laughs> soon press no, but your no, book no. <laughs> bender at the bon parisien is available on amazon go to the author profile page, Prez, P-R-E-S, Maxon. See the trailer, enjoy the book, and play us out a little bit Thanks here. so much for having me, you guys. For NPR comes from NPR member stations and from Cancer Treatment Centers of America, offering genomic testing through its new Centers for Advanced Individual Medicine that may reveal additional treatment options for individual cancer patients. Learn more at cancercenter.com. From Ozzy, a digital magazine that focuses on the new and the next, like the story of how big data and artificial intelligence may change the future of the American legal process. This and other stories at ozzy.com. That's ozy.com.